Hi guys, welcome back to Auburn Mechanics. We purchased that vehicle, as you can see, BMW. It's a 330 CI convertible. It's been here a little bit here. And it bent the control arm. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to replace the control arm on a BMW 46. It should be the same from 99 all the way until 2005. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that. Okay guys, first thing that you need to do, you need to jack the car up and always make sure you have a jack stand safety first. You don't want to get hurt while working on vehicle, even though it's fun to work on them. Always be safe. And now we need to remove that plastic cover that's under the engine with a few screws with few of screwdriver. Just unscrew them and remove it. And now right here, okay this is the control arm and ours is pretty damaged as you can see. And right here in the corner, where the bushing is, there is two bolts with 16 millimeter socket. You can get them with a with a not so deep socket and extension. You can reach them very easy. And now with a 22 or 7 8 wrench, that's where the other bolt is. Okay, let me see. That's the control arm, and that's where the bolt is. Okay, this is the replacement control arm that we have and. That's the one with the two 16 millimeter range bolts right there and that's the one that we're taking off now with 22 or 7 8 and when you remove the plastic cover, the engine cover, you can reach it from right there. If it's spinning you need to use a hex key in the middle. As you can see you can put a hex key right here just to prevent it from spinning so you can take the nut off. Okay right there we took the nut off. As you can see that's a big nut. And now we need to proceed to this bolt. There is one more right here under the hub. Let me show you. Okay, this one right here. It's all the same procedure. And now this one you can remove it with the 18 millimeter wrench. Again, if it's spinning you can use that uh, hex key in the middle of the bolt. That way it will not be spinning and you'll be able to remove the nut off. Okay, this is that nut right here, so we remove that one and now it should be pretty much ready to go. So if you get the hammer now and just you need to first turn the steering wheel to the left all the way. Okay, and now you just get the hammer and tap it a little bit, try not to damage any other parts in the way. So that bolt came off, now we have one more right here. So we need to just jiggle it a little bit and hit it a few more times. Okay, now you can use a pry bar. Sometimes it's very convenient to you. There's just not much room there. Okay, right there, if you hit it a little bit. Okay, now it's loose. Okay, right here, as you can see, it's pretty tight fit there so you just need to move it left and right and eventually it will come out of there. Okay this is the old one and you can see how bent that thing is. When they hit it the tire pushed it in like that. So this one uh, we are going to install the one that comes with the bushing, it's new bushing, so we're not going to replace this thing at this time, but always check your bushings, and we have a video on our channel how to replace them, because it will be easier to do it now than later. If you have any questions guys, let us know, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like for about 5 new videos every week. Thank you for watching us.